We wanted to have a means of transportation that was important to the character, and we wanted to have a reason to explore the open world on the back of the bike. Because Deacon is a member of the Mongols MC, which is an outlaw motorcycle club built around motorcycles, the bike is symbolic as well as a physical thing that he uses to survive. And that's one of the reasons why we really wanted to explore this type of a character in a post-apocalyptic setting is because his connection to his bike is deeper, I think, than any other type of vehicle that you could have if you were just an average Joe living in this world. One of the things that we have worked so hard on in the game is making the bike fun, whether you ride a real bike or not. So with just an hour riding around on this bike, you can start feeling like you're a pro, even if you've never ridden a real bike. And that's one of the taglines for the game is ride the broken road. In the story, the government comes in and blows up these bridges because they're trying to stop the horde. You can jump them. You know, you have to upgrade your bike and you have to, you know, upgrade your skills in order to be able to jump some of the bigger jumps in the game and, and reach areas that you maybe couldn't otherwise get to. If the player engages in side quests and does work for these encampments, he can earn enough trust and credits to buy better, faster engines and nitrous so he can help boost out of those situations to get out of trouble. But if the rain comes in and makes the trails all muddy, that's something the player really has to pay attention to because, you know, then you wipe your bike out and it takes a bunch of damage and then you have to, then you're on foot for a while until you can find the scrap you need to repair it. And we wanted to make it, you know, sort of survival light, which means that we have, you know, fuel management for your bike. You really have to pay attention to it. We didn't want to get heavy handed with it, but on the other hand, we wanted it to feel like there were stakes. It's a world where the bike is your edge, but it's also a liability and that people, you gotta manage it and people want to take it from you. It's not just choosing where, making sure you park far enough away so they don't hear you. It's also, hey, I'm gonna park it so that I can turn it this way. So if I need to make a quick getaway, I can just get on my bike and ride. But also, if you've upgraded your saddlebags and you have more storage, you might have extra ammo that you've brought with you. There is a full suite of customizations you can do on the bike. So it ways to make it yours instead of just Deacon. So for example, you get all the different color choices, all the color palettes. They're as part of rewards for all the storylines. We have all these decals and custom painted tanks and all that stuff can be used for you as the player to choose how you want the bike to look. I'm excited when this game comes out on April 26th to see what combinations uh, the gaming community comes up with.